I've been up three weeks in a row, then the day before nominations, I have to exclude three people mm -hmm. from attending a party the day before not the day before a nomination. I just kind of felt, felt as I was on a death wish in here. Mm -hmm. I just kind of feel right, I'm straight up, straight up oh, the yeah. Yeah, I, so. I just kind of felt like that. I was like, oh, bloody hell, really? I have to exclude three people? It's like you are always going to be pitted against each other at every single turn. <laughs> every single turn they'll pit. I'm just sick of really <laughs> decisions being made. There was Matthew and Ty's <laughs> decision and your <laughs> decision yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> At least you're honest. Do you want to get the razors and finish off my hair or not? <laughs> me off. You've I know. Matthew's and Ty's decision well. was the worst. Making, is it good? I was um, waiting for them. I slept really well, thanks. <laughs> well, if you want to know, I'll tell you the reasons of basement decision. I don't if you know. want to know. You really let me down. I can't please all the people all the time. Marlon was annoyed by that decision, but at the end of the day, Marlon I'm came up there. I'm just a bit there. shocked that we spent the time that we did mm. together the other day um, talking about things, and I made su I made such an effort with you, especially this week. You, I've never had I've never had effort back really from you. Mm. I had to make the first move. Okay. And that's what I said. I said, I feel like I... And we sat there, and I was blatantly obvious with you. I said, there's certain people in this house mm. who never make an effort. They're just one way. Mm. It's all their way or the highway. Mm. And you're one of those people who I've made an effort with constantly. And you've never basically done anything like, back. But, like, look at it look at it through my eyes. If I had to base it on who I thought, right, who's been my mate and who's stuff for me, that I would have put you What's on this the... mate thing? You just said that you didn't do it through mates. I didn't. I I'm would have put you... I'm talking about as a housemate. I would have put you on the nice list. I completely avoided who's been my mate and who's not. You saw the same footage as me. Mm -hmm. You saw lies, you saw nastiness, and you saw people who are basically two-faced. I sat there reassuring you for like the best part of 26 hours that you had friends in the house, mm -hmm. trying to make you feel better, felt very sorry for you. <clears throat> the night of nominations, you sat there crying your eyes out. I was the first one to come over and hold your hand. Then I brought you some food outside that you hadn't even asked for. I just came outside because mm -hmm. I saw how upset you were. I opened up to you about my personal life last week. You did with me. We mm -hmm. spent a lot of time in our own <coughs> together. And you completely mugged me did off Did you feel mugged off by that? And had the audacity okay. to sit there and stand there in front of everybody yesterday and say that I've not been open with you. What a no, job! I said in the diary room. Um, right, look, let me explain. In the bedroom yesterday, who else was in there with you and Marlon? Danielle. Danielle's been my mate in here pretty much since the start here. You said here. Danielle as well. I didn't understand why Danielle wasn't there. Danielle, hmm? Dan I didn't understand why Danielle wasn't there. Right, it wasn't based on who's my friend, so that's when I said to you at the end, try not to take it personally. I didn't pick people based on who's my friend. Up there in the diary... Well, obviously I, not, because... I didn't... Helen, that's why I said to you, it's not personal, because if it had been personal... It is personal. Well, Danielle's, I'm telling Danielle's you, my, I took it personal. Danielle's my friend, and I wouldn't have deliberately excluded Danielle. Look, I yeah, couldn't have been anymore. Helen, I had to exclude three people. Three people well, were always going to be upset about it. Don't sit there it. and contradict yourself. Cause that me off even more. Hmm? You've just contradicted yeah. yourself. You said I weren't open when I was, and that's why I feel like well, I, I, I felt. I you... feel completely mugged off. You just remind me of everyone that's basically in my life when I've sat there and been honest with them and been like a really good friend to mm -hmm. them, which I think I've been to you this week when I don't think you'd return the favour, to be honest. Helen, I've been excluded from many different things, and part of the reason I didn't pick you or Marlon was because last week Marlon got saved and was given another opportunity to prove himself, even though everyone in this house kind of felt that he'd been a bit of A lot of people felt that he'd been a bit like that, and he got a chance to turn it around another week in the house. You're always going on. Part of my reason as well for excluding you as well was the golden barge thing that you're always talking about. You're always like, I'm on the golden barge in here, that kind of Sorry. thing. Sorry? Because you always say that you're on the golden... I always say that. You do say that. You <laughs> cheeky. <laughs> Uh, we, I do you sit there and say that's what I only talk about? Not I get you off that I get labelled always... with that. I Don't say... even speak to me. Don't speak to me. Do not talk to me. Fine. You're lying. Listen to me. You're What's a liar. You're a liar. When I'm do you liar. hear me? I've said all along that I feel like that's a curse. And you've made out that I'm <laughs> Could I get a word in there twice? If you let me, if you no, actually listen I don't to want what to I have to say, you've just said. You, I constantly hear you talking about the golden barge. You're complaining about saying, the golden barge, curse. Helen. You're not saying... If you'd have let me finish, you jumped in far too soon. If you'd let me flame and well finish. I said you're always complaining that you're seen as being on the golden barge and how you hate it, right? You didn't say that. You have said that many times. You said you hate this whole thing about then. people being on you the golden barge. You said you're always on about the golden right, well, barge. Well, let me finish. It's very hard to get a word in edgeways with you sometimes. Oh, sorry. Maybe I just don't feel like giving you the opportunity today. <laughs>